guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to play Imagine by John Lennon. To play, I'm in standard tuning, uh, no capo as you can see, and I'm going to have the tabs and the chords up here as I sing along, and you can rewind as necessary to learn how to play the song. So hopefully this helps you. If it does, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and also check out what I'm writing with my music. All right, let's get started. So the introduction and the verse is what we're going to get started with here. We have a C major seven chord. So it's a C chord, but you drop your index finger, which gives us the B note, which in a C chord is the seventh. And that's why we call it a C major seven chord. And we're gonna do some special picking here. So I'm using a pick. You could use your fingers as well, but I find it easiest to use the pick. We're gonna pluck our D and our G strings together and then our root note. So a lot of times in songs we pick the root note first, but in this particular instance, we are picking the root note second. Now, those notes that are being picked for those first three rounds are the same thing as a C chord, and it's not until the third time we pick that we pick all three strings and reveal that it's really a C major seven chord. Okay, so we have this. Then we're gonna switch over to an F chord. Now, a full F chord bar is like this, but for this particular song, you don't need to do that since we're not strumming the entire chord. So we've got our middle finger on our second fret of the G string, ring finger on the third fret of the D, index up here on the first fret of the low E string to give us our root note on the F here. Okay, so we're going to continue and do the same thing, but now our root note's on the E string, so we have to pop up over the A string. On the fourth one, we're going to do a hammer on with our pinky, so from the second fret to the third fret of the A string. So on the F, we have this. All right, so I'm going to go back to that C chord and put those two things together. So we have... Next, what we do is we switch over to a C add nine. So why do we call it a C add nine? Well, we have our C chord right here, right? These three notes, C, E, G. But now we're gonna add the ninth, which is a D. Nine is also the same as the second. So C to D is the major second in the key of C. Uh, D is also the ninth. Um, we're calling it a ninth here because it's actually a whole octave and a second up. So it makes sense to call this chord a C major, not a C major, a C add nine. And now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pluck these three strings, then the root. And then on the final fourth drum there, you take your pinky off and you go back to that C major seven. Okay, so we have this. to our F chord. So the full introduction is this. actually is played throughout the verse as well, so I'm just going to sing through the first verse with you guys and keep the tabs up. Imagine there's no heaven It's easy if you try No
come into the pre-chorus here, which is a full F chord. Imagine all A minor to a D7, back to an F chord, and go to a G, C, G7. Okay, so I'll leave all those chords up here and sing through that. So it goes. Imagine all the people living for today. Ah, ah. And then it's back in to our verse. Imagine there's no section which goes like this you may say that I'm a dreamer but I'm not the only one I hope someday you will join us and the world will Through that C section again, we have a F chord to a G chord to a C chord to an E7. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you. As I said earlier, if this helped, make sure to give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, and also check out the music I'm making if you'd like to support me. Thank you all, have a great rest of the day.